Hello, this is Carla Nix, and I, I'm doing an introduction to the series that I'm doing. I'm doing uh, Servant Leadership, and this is actually from uh, my curriculum that I use for a teleclass that I recently did, and I thought that I would break it down in tidbits. These are leadership tidbits, I guess we can say, because I'm doing it in small bites and presenting to you via uh, video. And again, it's Stuart... Stuart Student, oh goodness. Hi, this is Carla Nix, and I'm introducing a series that I'm doing on servant leadership. And it's actually from the curriculum or the presentation that I used for a teleclass that I recently uh, conducted. And I'm doing it uh, on video right now, and I'm doing, doing it in tidbits. So it's really uh, stu uh, servant leadership tidbits. And it's just giving you small bites of it at a time. And I hope that it blesses you. And I hope that you get a greater understanding of stu stu uh, servant leadership. I keep wanting to say steward leadership. But, you know, maybe that's not just an error. Maybe God wants us to realize that we are stewards even over our leadership. And the steward is the manager. So we, how should we manage our leadership that God has blessed us with? So I hope you enjoy these tidbits and that you will watch these over and over again. Share them with others. And, and I just really hope that they bless you. Again, it's servant leadership and it's tidbits from the teleclass that I recently conducted. But enjoy. Embrace. And I hope that they will uplift you. God bless you. Again, this is Carla Nix. My website is www.carlawynix.com. And my email is carla at carlawynix.com. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Carla Y. Nix. And I'm on Twitter at twitter.com backslash Carla Nix. God bless you, everyone. Have a great day. Hi, everyone. This is Carla Nix. And I'm beginning uh, my tidbits on servant leadership. I want to give you a few key words that will help you to understand what I mean by servant leadership. For one thing, the first word is service. To be a servant, that includes service, correct? So what is service? Service is an act of helpful activity. It's help or aid. It's assistance. That's what service is. And this is definitely important for the servant leadership, the ser servant leader. Okay, ministry is another word. Ministry is an act or instance of service. You may not carry the title of pastor, bishop, reverend, minister, evangelist, or what other titles that we use, but if you're called into uh, the body of Christ, you still are part of the ministry. The whole ministry is that of Jesus Christ. It's that of bringing others into Christ. But there's ministry work. And you are called to uh, lead ministry. We are all leaders. We, we really are. As, as Christians, we are to lead others to Christ. But God has equipped us with a purpose and with our own abilities to do this in a certain way. That's your ministry. It's an act or instance of service. See, the servant leader doesn't seek to be served. The servant leader looks to serve. That's what a servant leader does. You don't want your people that you're leading to wait on you. You are there to serve a purpose. Your purpose is to serve them. That's ministry. Okay? Ministration. Ministration. M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-I-O-N is the act of ministering care. It, it, it's ministry, but it's the act of doing it. Okay, so what is servant leadership? Let's put all of that together now. Servant leadership. What servant leadership does, it emphasizes the leader's role as a humble steward of the resources that God has given them to, to lead the organization or the club or the group or the team or the family or whatever uh, you are leading okay is how you handle your resources that's that's what a steward does a steward is a manager you manage something that doesn't belong to you your gifts were given to you by God you may think they're for you but they're not they are for God given to you by God and the servant leader should be humble 
Okay, leaders ought to serve others while staying focused on uh, obtaining results and and following the rules of the of the uh, ministry of following the focus the ultimate goal there's a reason there's something that you're working towards and that's what servant leadership does again however a servant leader doesn't uh, work to serve to be served but he or she works to serve others servant leadership is a term that has become very big in the sake of the world but Jesus Christ laid the foundation for this. For Jesus Christ said for himself, he did not come to be served, but to serve others. And he's our greatest example in everything. And that includes servant leadership. He laid the foundation. He laid the groundwork. He started it. He is the greatest leader of, leader of all. He washed his disciples' feet. We should have that same humble attitude to serve and help one another. God bless you all. And I know that you will enjoy this series on servant leadership these tidbits on servant leadership. This is Carla Nix. Carla at CarlaYNix.com uh, website www.CarlaYNix.com God bless you.